Hi, I'm Kat. And hi, I'm Bharat. And we are the Hungry Terrier, BU's premier cooking show. And today we are hosting the tryouts to our chow down competition. Right here in Late Night Kitchen, Marciano Commons. Let's go meet the contestants. Hi, I'm Gabriella. I'm a freshman in mechanical engineering. I'm currently living, living in Warren Towers and we don't have any access to kitchen, so I'm here to prove that even a freshman can bake after not having very much practice for the year. While Gabriella prepares her ingredients, let's meet our guest judge, James D. Sabatino. So right now we are here with James D. Sabatino from Roxy's Grilled Cheese. And so welcome, James. Thanks for having me. Thank you. <laughs> so we're really excited to have you. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what you look for in a perfect grilled cheese? Well, if I'm making it, I mean, it's everyone I make is going to be perfect. <laughs> uh, no, not always. Um, honestly, it's, it's about simplicity. Like, there's a few core ingredients, and you just have to get those right. If you don't get those right, um, then the whole sandwich can potentially be ruined. Our contestants have weird ingredients that they're bringing. What is something that is an absolute no-no for? A no-no. I don't. I don't know if there is a no-no. To be honest with you. What about a yes, yes? A yes, yes. Oh, any any meat. Any, any meat, meat is delicious. And are you hungry? I'm a little hungry. Yeah. I think yeah. I'm, I think I'm ready. We're gonna be eating a lot. So. That's we are. Go. We are. Our contestants will have 20 minutes to make three identical grilled cheeses. Okay, so our first contestant is Gabriella Henkels. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. We saw that she has a pear. I was curious about this technique. Um, I do like when we make it; it's different. We'll put the uh, we'll put the fat right on the bread rather than putting it in a pan first. So uh, different different results. So she brought her own bread. Yeah. Oh, what you doing? She is very focused, which mm -hmm. is very good. Plus competitor of the day. Yeah. yeah. I think she, you know what, I think she's very methodical. I think she's... But she's an engineer as well. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. This makes a lot of sense. Yes. There we go. That's good. She's a freshman. Okay. Okay. And she worked as a pastry intern. Oh, interesting. At Mark Vettery's Osteria. Mm -hmm. Okay. And she started a culinary camp for children. She started one? Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. And she has been running it for four summers now. So her cheese is nice and thin. Mm -hmm. She's cut it nice and thin which means she knows what she's doing. Good. If it's thinner, it's just going to make it melt a little bit yeah. easier. Okay. If it's too thick, it's it's not going to. But at the same time, it can over melt and it can, depending oh, on the type yeah. of cheese, it can turn into like magma. Um, so, th I mean, there's a lot of variables with these sandwiches. There really are. It, it's really like you have to just time it perfectly. Oh, do you see the smoke? Yeah. It's just that. What's that? She has a lot of time. Oh, those are pears? What is that? Is no. That fig? That, Spinach? That looks like figs. Spinach? Onions. Onions? onions yep. I think it's caramelized onions. Is it? How much time does she have? She has about 15, uh, about 13 10. minutes, I think. 13. Okay. I'm really curious to see what the other side of this bread looks like. Mm. Do you think it's Bye. burnt? There I mean, we go. Oh, no. It looks it's good. Perfect. It's looks perfect. Good. Perfect. She good. must have brought the heat down. Yeah. That's great. Like, look at the color. She got it. She got the color she wanted. Okay. Oh my god, so excited. So, what's your name? Gabriella. Nice to meet you, Gabriella. Nice to meet you. And James, if you wanna... Yeah, uh, so I'm curious what your inspiration is behind your ingredients. Um, well, it's a reverse French onion soup. So, oh, um, okay. rather than having the soup, bread, and cheese, we have the um, caramelized onions inside of um, some French bread um, with Gruyere cheese, and then also a little bit of pear to add some texture and a little bit of 
I'm digging right in. That's I'm good idea. Yeah, just jump in. Yes. Yeah, I was a little nervous when I saw you using all that butter. <laughs> and now I realize that it was an awesome idea. Good. <laughs> How did you caramelize these onions? Um, the onions, uh, they cooked for about 40 minutes in um, one of my friend's kitchens. And um, it's uh, onions, butter, olive oil, and um, a little bit of red wine. I think this went really well together. What do you think? It's really good. It's a pretty classic combination, mm -hmm. but it's... Um, it's better than I that I would have thought. The first thing I noticed, it's so crispy and so soft at the same time. It's ironic, but it's great. <laughs> Thank you so awesome. much, Gabriella. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Kyle Kloss. Uh, I'm a journalism major, and I'm a senior here in Com. I know I'm the best chef at BU, so I felt the need to prove it to everyone else. You're on Go board. ahead. Board. Yeah. Ready. What is oh, the third? Oh, something with the butter. Oh, that's smart. Seeds? That's smart. Some kind of seeds. So, so basically anything you mix with the butter right. that's not an herb mm -hmm. is going to make a crust. So he's edible. trying to warm the butter, heat it that's up with idea. that. That's, is that glass? Is that glass? Should, is that plastic? Ceramic. No. Okay, we just heard that he dropped a dish, yeah. so that's gonna set him back for a little bit. Yeah, and he's already down by three minutes. And he's trying the same thing. He's, he's doing the same, same thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. Kyle, Kyle claims to be the best at cook at BU. Okay. So he grew up um, in his parents' Italian bakery in New Jersey. Yeah. Okay, so he's been in the kitchen his whole life. Right. And 20 years of watching the Food Network. Me too. Huh. Me too. Yeah. What's he got? Working with the bread, the BU bread? Yep. You, bread. It's you know, it's perfectly softened. It's the, that's a lot of butter. What's he doing? It's not a cake. You know, frosting. <laughs> no frosting right here, huh? No. <laughs> He's gonna run out of butter. Wow. I feel like there's a lot of potential for this to both be delicious and mm -hmm. to be completely overcooked. It's a lot of butter. It's a lot of butter. That's a lot of butter. He's using everything that the dining hall gave us. The only thing he brought was whatever was in that Tupperware. Mm -hmm. Okay, very simple. Mm -hmm. Smoking a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. Let's smoke the number. Check it, check it out, check it out. Check it out. Ooh, it's a little that's dark. It's dark. Yeah. It's uh -oh. A few degrees too too little or a few degrees too high can really change everything. Mm. Not too much. So what's your name? I'm Kyle. Great. And, uh, and what's special about it? Well, what's special about it is the rub. Uh, so I have a brown sugar based sort of Memphis style rub that I mix with a little bit of softened butter. Mm -hmm. And when you spread that on, it uh, almost candies the bread so you get a nice little crunch. And I use Swiss to sort of complement that sweetness in the brown sugar. And why did you pick uh, marble rye? Uh, just complexity. I think uh, white or wheat would have been a little boring. So I think this is definitely risky. Yeah. But if it pays off, it could like be huge. Cause like for me, I would never think of this. This is like the furthest thing away from traditional. And if it's good, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Like I don't know. It's, it's it, it easy. Well, let's give it a try. Let's, let's. How come you didn't put the tomatoes in it? Uh, I didn't want to get too busy. I figured right I got here. the Swiss, I got the rub, and I got right the, the marble rye. I figured putting tomatoes in there would uh, make else? it a little too busy. What else was in the rub again? Uh, that's a Kloss family secret that I'm not sure I can tell you, but okay. uh, basically salt, pepper, and a blend of spices. So it's a family recipe? Yeah, I came up with it uh, when I was eight, just <laughs> fooling around in our bakery. And uh, there's not really much for an eight-year-old to do. I, would, I actually think that this sandwich is better because of the rub, which I wouldn't have thought when you started cooking it. Yeah. I'm curious why you didn't put a meat in it. 
Uh, again, I didn't want to detract from it as much. Uh, I think the rub speaks for itself. Hi, my name is Sandra Yoon and I am a sophomore in comm. Cooking has become part of my identity for me. Um, I've been growing up cooking since I was very young and it's something I enjoy doing. Oh, what's this? Oh, she just went. Over. Is she making a game oh, time decision? Oh, she's going She's going Is she going marble rye? Because yeah. I think that's absolutely the best decision. Mm -hmm. What do you think about Korean cuisine and cheese? Um, I mean, I think in a sandwich it would be great. <laughs> yeah, typically it doesn't make much sense, but um, if she's going in the direction I think she's going in, then she's she's a very uh, she's a very smart cook. Mm -hmm. She seems really focused though. She seems nervous. She, she, she was a little nervous in here. Yeah. The pan was out, but that should be okay. It's cooking now. That won't take too long. Like how much time? She is probably over she 15 minutes, time. right? Yeah, she is. Yeah, she'll be totally team. fine. Yeah. So she grew up in a family of six girls. Yeah. Um, food was a big part of their family, and their mother cooked all the food yeah. until she passed away when Sandra was 11 years old. And. Um, she took it upon herself to become the chef of the family. She cooked for her five older sisters and her father. And I think Korean food has just become a passion for yeah. her ever since. So I'm excited that she's cooking from the heart today. She looks a little worried. I think it's beef that's worrying her. It's all right. It's all this oh, she oh, mixed it mixes together. It together. Interesting. That would be tasty. Interesting. That'd be really tasty. She's focusing a lot on making sure the meat's cooked mm -hmm. and focusing less on how the bread's turning out. I mean, I, I appreciate the ambition. I just mm -hmm. hope it hope it's as good as, as it could be. Right. Oh. She's going right into the, yep. she's going right onto the sandwiches. Will that make it soggy, do you think? I'm not sure. I, I, think, it, I think it could. I think she's doing it for the cheese because yeah. the cheese was half melted. Yeah. So that, that, would be cheese, really, yeah. that would actually be really smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. You're getting extra cheese. Whoa. She's chopping something. Yeah. She would come back. She's going back on the grill. Uh, yes. Yes, I knew she would. Good. I knew she would. Good. That's really smart. Yeah, That's really smart. smart. As long as it's exactly what I was hoping she would do. Good. That's the only I hope thing. She... That's not crowding, is it? Um, no, it could be okay. Okay. She'll be all right. Look at her. She's organizing everything right now. <laughs> I want her in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's cooking the same way she would cook at home. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> you actually went from raw meat to this. So I'm excited to try it out. That's great. Um, one trouble I had was the butter was to tear up the bread, so I had to use oil. I'm sorry if it seems a little greasy, but um, cool. good. Perfect. It is very rich. And I love that. It's really good. I love that. I mean, this is pretty moist. Juicy, right? Juicy. So I'm really impressed by that. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Um, I would say maybe the, the bread was a little soft, but at the same time, um, you definitely have like the heartiest sandwich. Like yours is definitely oh. like totally filled with stuff. So um, I'd, say, I'd say you executed it really, really well. Okay, yeah. thank you. So make it a little bit crispier. Okay. That's full filling, so. My friends love it, so um, hopefully you do too. <laughs> it's really tasty. We liked it a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
thanks for making it for us. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> my pleasure. My name is Vivek Kodesha. Um, my major is computer science and I'm a psychology minor as well. And uh, I'm in the class of 2017. I, was, I used to watch MasterChef Australia and I was kind of intrigued by it. And that's basically the reason I want to participate in this event. So it looks like Vivek is doing a sweet He's got soft and soft and butter, so he's uh, he's off to a good start so far. Yeah. <laughs> Both sides, huh? This might be the same effect as Gabriella, who mm -hmm. went first, mm -hmm. where she was putting butter on both sides, and I had no idea how it was going to be, and then it ended up being great. Is that, do cheddar. I see maple syrup? That's, that's, cheddar. Cheddar. that's maple syrup, and that's cheddar. Oh boy. What do you think? I'm really curious. I think it's balancing it out. That's what cheddar I'm getting initially. Cheddar and maple syrup. Though. You also have cinnamon and apple, though. Okay. Okay. It's kind is of that, fall. So like an apple pie. Yeah. yeah. Apple right there. Yeah. yeah right. Okay. So it's very thinly sliced. And it's right. very fall. That could be good. Yeah, that could be really good. Yeah. Still worried about the fact that he hasn't really checked the bread yet. And if it's a little too, oh, Ooh. that's a lot of cinnamon. You could see that piece. Oh, let's see. Yeah. I don't want that one. I want one of the ones. That, oh, oh, that's, that's a lot. Of I think that's I'm gonna get that one. Yeah. What is that? That he's. Is that salt. 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 Yeah. I like salt. That's, that's dangerous. That's, that's dangerous. That's a lot of salt. I think you the should better always one's just getting you a little season with your hands and never with Yeah, that's never true. with the salt shaker. Exactly. Okay, another layer tell. another right. layer right. cheese. So hopefully there might be a problem with that melting. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Is that butter side that, down? Yeah, that was butter side yeah. down. Yeah. On purpose? Oh wait, is he? Oh he's doing both sides again? Yes. Oh, I'm so confused. Me too. My heart literally can't take this. Yeah, that was, that, yeah, butter side down. <laughs> literally, yeah, yeah, actually, though. No, let's see, let's see. This is a real moment of truth right now. Real moment of truth. How's it looking? It. It, it doesn't look like... It's not holding yeah. together as much. That's okay. That means the heat's low. It's like a roller coaster uh, uh, right now. If the heat's too low, it's better than too high, I think. You're right, Personally. you're right. Because now try he to can, turn it up. yes, He's going to yes. turn it up. He's Perfect. working on another one. Right now, all he has to worry about is making sure that it's golden brown and not black. Mm. And he has plenty of time to do that. So Vivek just turned down the heat because okay. that looks like it's burning. Okay. okay. Yeah, well, good, color, good color. Good color. Good color. Yeah. Good color. Okay. Good color but you so let's get that on the other side. That. I think the heat was a little too high. <laughs> that was a lot of maple syrup. <laughs> See, that's syrup. how it was. That yeah. Was, Sticky hands. That was so. That was more maple syrup than I've ever eaten in the summer <laughs> of my life. Hey, what's up? What's your name? I'm oh, Vivek Kodeja. Great, so what have you made for us today? I, I made a, a grilled cheese with um, apples, yes. thinly sliced apples, uh -huh. uh, cinnamon, sea salt, and um, well, roasted with butter. Right, of course. <laughs> Which is kind of like fatty, but you know, great. it's part of great cuisine, so yeah, fat doesn't matter. <laughs> and um, I put maple syrup on top of that. And what flavors are we expecting when we cut into this? Cinnamon. Sweetness, try it out. You might get a... and salt too. Uh, yeah, and salt too. Mm. Good enough. I thought it was crazy that you're using as much maple syrup as you did. Yeah. But now, but like it really made it go from it like made it a, definitely a dessert sandwich. Mm. Yes. By using all that. I'm in love with this. It's great. You're right about the bread. It actually, does bring out the savory element of it. You know. Yeah, the sweetness and the cheddar. And we were wondering why you this wanted to... This is so to... indulgent. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's really just like apple pie. I want to finish it. <laughs> but don't you think the white bread works really well here? The white bread, yeah, the white bread it was does. definitely the way to go. Okay, good job, Vivek. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. You. My name is Deanna Avendola, and I'm studying elementary education in the School of Education, and I'm a senior. Um, I'd really like to win. Freshman year, I won a cake decorating competition uh, through BU's Cake Club, and I think coming here and competing would be and w winning would be a really good way to close up senior year. So we have our last contestant today, and it's Deanna, right. and she seems really good with her bio. She's a baker. She's had a lot of baking experience for a long time. She participated in the Cake Club. Mm-hmm. That sounds fun. She was actually on the Hungry Terrier for an interview of during our initial episodes. She came in and interviewed for the oh, cake very cool. Yeah. She has her own catering company for family and friends. Really? Which means she cool. works under pressure. 
good. <laughs> you can't see her because she's prepping inside. <laughs> the invisible awesomeness, you know, just pre prepping and preparing it. I think some ham. We might have some kind of meat going on in here. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. I wonder what she's prepping. I'm so curious. Just imagine. <laughs> Stealthy. <laughs>
I would make for myself if I was hungover at nine in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I wouldn't necessarily, <laughs> bring, I wouldn't necessarily bring to a dinner party. I mean, yeah. I really enjoyed it, but it was total, mm -hmm. just total like desserty kind of junk food. Just because of that, like I actually really enjoyed it, um, but it, it's it's definitely not my top. Mm -hmm. What about Kyle's? What was wrong with Kyle's? Kyle's was was actually it surprised me at how good it was compared mm -hmm. to how I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. But it was still very weird. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it was just such a weird combination. I guess um, it's the out of the box thinking that you had. It was too the, salty. The, the, yeah. It was, it, was, it, was, salty. it was out of the box, but it didn't seem like there was much method to it. It seems mm -hmm. like yeah. he had a recipe for a dry rub yeah. and he just wanted to include that somehow. Definitely. Um, you know, had he made something with like a pork loin and rubbed it with the dry rub, it probably would have been really tasty. But he just kind of mixed it in with the butter and it was, it mm -hmm. was interesting, but um, there's real, there's no real culinary method to what he did yeah. and it just was a little bit too weird for me. So if we bring Deanna and Sandra together, do you think that they would be strong contestants for the final over these two guys? Hmm. Yeah, I would say if I had to build a team for myself to work mm -hmm. on the truck, I would definitely pick uh, Gabriella, Sandra, okay. and um, Deanna. I completely agree. That totally makes sense. I think they were think? really good with consistency on all three levels. They were good with their out of creativity in a sense, and also flavor. They all had that taste, which you can still feel in the mouth. Like, the aftertaste was good, so. Yeah. I support you, James, yeah. Okay. Well, you guys, <laughs> I think right. we have our top three. Wow. Right here. So we have Gabriella Henkels, mm -hmm. we have Sandra Yoon, and we have Deanna Abondola. The Hungry Terrier Chowdown will be on April 5th. Stay tuned for the final competition.